We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, faithful acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is from Hank Sauce, it is the, this logo does not work great in yellow, <laughs> especially not in brown. <laughs> it is the Honey Heaven Yellow Hot Sauce. And you can try it on animals, including dinosaurs, I guess. <laughs> Pretzels. <laughs> Pizza, pizza pro probably not be bad for this sauce. As you can see, I've gone through quite a bit of it, trying to get it figured out. And uh, let's, I'm gonna look at this description here. So we have a little sweet and a lot of heat. Uh, no to both of those. And it is slightly sweet, which isn't uh, sting in the back of the tongue. Not, not really. This is not. A particularly hot sauce shake well which we've done three or four we have a lot of space a lot of space in here to shake well so we'll agitate it real real good all right let's look at the ingredients the Hank base which is essentially just a Louisiana style sauce I wish they sold just that I wish they sold just the uh, the Hank base I'd be interested in that and then there's additional vinegar Habanero peppers, honey, wine, garlic, salted butter, olive oil, and cilantro. And so, I mean, it's got the makings of something that sounds like it would be, you know, pretty solid. What I was hoping for, and this, of course, is in the uh, written review available down in the description below. What I was hoping for was something like the Hank's Heat, only a bit sweeter and a bit hotter. And you can see they are trying to go for a creamy thing. I can smell the garlic right now. Just pouring this in the spoon, I am getting it close to the camera, and I can smell the garlic. It is a sort of a creamy orange coloration here. It's, it's not bad. It's not a bad looking sauce. Tending towards brown a little bit, I would say, also. But... Uh, you can see there are little bits of stuff hanging out in it. Habanero, a little garlic probably. All right, away we go. Little sweet. Intensely garlicky, and there's really some, just a lot of bitter back end stuff to this. It, it almost is a bit sour, I would say, as well. I, I don't, there's not that much, not that big of differences between this and the Hank's Heat. I, I just find it baffling that the sauces are so dramatically different. Okay. It's like, it's like a, I, mean, I did get a slight bit of sweetness there, so sort of an over garlic, somewhat bitter and slightly sweet Cajun sauce, I guess is where I would leave this one at. So, as in the Hank's Heat video, I decided I'm going to go with shaved buffalo chicken. And this is just from Kroger. And there's not a lot of flavoring on this, so same as I did last time, we're just gonna just gonna throw some on here. I will say this is not bad in this application. And we're just gonna stir it on in. But you know that's where it's it's 
got some other conjunctive elements, I guess, to it. By itself, like as a dipping sauce, I don't like this. Anywhere where I can get too much of the sauce by itself, it, it just, I don't know, diminishing returns, I guess, for me. I, I don't, I don't find this flavor to be a fond one for me. It's got stuff I like in it, but it, it hits just way too many of the wrong flavor notes for me. Okay. No, I mean, that's not... It's not as good as a Hank's Eat because it's not as good as a tasting sauce. Um, definitely getting some uh, the, the bitterness notes. I just I don't like. Now, I'm not sure what it is that's doing that. Possibly it's the habaneros, but I mean olive oil, butter. And so I'm cilantro's no might as well not be here, but I'm just confused as to why that would be the case. So alright. It's okay like this. But I mentioned in that Hank's Heat video, uh, go check that one out. As well. Where you can actually watch me prepare a plate of this from scratch. But I thought it'd be nice to have some blue cheese with the, uh, I thought, man, this would be really good at blue cheese. So we're going to try it, sort of a buffalo sandwich without, without any of the bread. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. It's really nice. I'm using Lighthouse. This is the first blue cheese I think I've ever had. I usually like it quite a bit. I wish I had more chunks of cheese in it though. If I do this again, I might need to get some blue cheese to crumble in there. Now what we ought to do, I'm eating just, just the chicken and the blue cheese here, and this is good. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely good. I like this. Getting, getting a very low level burn now from the habaneros. Let's make a burrito. Just have here one of these fiber burritos. I try to try to have try to be a little healthier. Although you know, I think they cheat. I think a lot of companies that do that, you know, cheat when they they talk about impact carbs. You know, where they don't count. Fiber <laughs> as calories, which I think is 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 fudgy. I think it's fudgy of them. All right, so we're just gonna start with the base here on the uh, on that there tortilla, and get all the rest of this cheese off here. Okay, well, it's dressing, I guess. All right. And then we're gonna shovel some in here. Make us a little, sort of, I guess more of a Cajun. 
Cajun Buffalo Blue Cheese Wrap. Since I keep overstuffing the burritos, I tried to uh, oh, get out of there. I tried to uh, try to get bigger wraps. <laughs> See if I, yeah, it looks better. Okay, more of a burrito shape there. All right, all right, let's finish this thing off. Let it cement in place, hopefully it'll cement in place. Onto the burrito. Do a great job with this, but oh well. Very enjoyable. <laughs> if I would have had a better, a better sauce. For his chicken, it would have been that much better, but I mean, this is a bad look, you know, right now, almost down towards the head now. It's not bad, it's not a uh, not bad in this application. I just I don't mind garlic, it just, th this is striking to me the wrong notes for me, and if I want a heavy garlic sauce, I will buy one, but I won't buy a hot sauce, and then, be okay with it being a garlic sauce. If I want garlic sauce, I'll buy one. If I'm getting hot sauce, that's what I want. I don't mind using garlic in it, but it's forceful to the point where I find it's more garlic sauce than hot sauce. This one's pushing that line pretty hard. I, I just have some problems with it. But This is um I definitely I definitely should have moved to the uh blue cheese sooner. Compliments quite nicely, but like I said, it needs more actual blue cheese chunks. I'll fix that. I'll fix that the next time I do this. You know, I like get I get the shaved chicken fairly frequently. Not a lot of fat in it, it's almost all protein. So, this will be happening again. It won't be all protein you know, once I throw this in. It'd be fat and protein, but. It's, it's nice, it really. It doesn't cool it so much as it balances it. And it doesn't. I've seen people use ranch. Ranch has got a very sort of bold and distinctive flavor to it. 
And I think Ratch is meant to be a standalone. It will work okay with certain sauces, but it will also start competing with them. That's why blue cheese, I think, works a lot better as far as buffalo type stuff goes. It doesn't do any of those things. It just is a nice counterpoint. Yeah, blue cheese and hot sauce together, you can make a really nice coating for wings without too. You just have to make sure your hot sauce is a good tasting one. So this one really isn't, but it is okay in this application. So like I do with pretty much every sauce you see in the blog, to the extent possible, I do try to finish them out. This one's pretty close. I've got maybe one more of these. Shave chicken babies to go. This bottle is going to be done. I was really kind of disappointed that I was hoping it would be just an upgrade to hang seat, and it wasn't. I'm not sure what the point of butter and olive oil in there is. Man. I'm just not clear on what they're trying to do. They had a pretty solid sauce, I just don't, I don't understand. Sometimes your monkey would stop too much, you know? But I've got a lot of Lighthouse blue cheese to go now. And I will say that was uh, that's a spot. Like I said, it would have been nice with a better tasting sauce, but we're good what we have, I guess. So, but uh, yeah, there it is. The I, I still hate these labels a lot. <laughs> I don't understand what the brown craft paper I, I, you know I like in a, a label where it's legible where I can see what's in it readily that's what I like in a label and I mean you can do fancy graphics too but if I can't easily read the ingredient panel it's uh, it's not a good label as far as I'm concerned so anyway with that aside there it is the Hank sauce, honey habanero hot sauce. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.